Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we are going to be looking at the location of every single garden visitor to make sure you can get them all on your island, uh, including the maps and stuff, which I, I hopefully will have included in the description. This video took a very, very long time to make. All the support is very much appreciated, but let's hop right into it. Just in case anybody hasn't heard, it has been confirmed in Fearless's interview with Jay Arverman uh, that the final visitor on the Garden Island, who is the spaceman who can only appear once you've had all other visitors, is going to be the one to give you the space helmet. Uh, so just in terms of how all of that, all of these visitors links to, because you will need to speak to them initially before they can visit your island. On to the video. Okay, now that we've made it to the hub, we're first going to go through all the villages quickly. I'm hoping everybody's spoken to them, uh, but I know there's some people who haven't. So we'll start with Lynn, then we'll come on down to Felix. We've got Duke chilling over here, Vex just at the side, and then Leo. Uh, now if we come back around towards the builder NPC, we will have Jamie, uh, and then back round this blue house, and we do end up at Liam. Uh, across from Liam is Tom, and then across from Tom is Andrew. Passed through the alchemist house and round the back here, and we will reach Stella. Uh, and then finally, we will end this off at Ryu. First thing we're going to want to do is to come back round this bank and run straight towards the foraging area until we see the lumberjack right here. Once we've spoken to him, we're going to come back around and speak to the bartender. For me, he's chilling inside, but if you've not spoken to him before, he'll be chilling just out here with a quest for you. Now you want to come back through, round the bank, and speak to the adventurer NPC again. Past the adventurer, and we will end up with the librarian. Round to the next building, and we get Dusk. Across from Dusk, we're going to have the weaponsmith. And then round through to the community centre. Uh, and we've got Clerk Seraphine chilling in there. Past Seraphine all the way up into this barn area. And we do have the farmer NPC. And then we've got Arthur just on the other side of him. We'll come back round, run into the pet shop and speak to Zog. And then right next door, if you go in here, we've got Jacob who runs the Jacob's competitions. Uh, and Anita where, as it says, it lets you spend your Jacob's tickets. Now we're going to come down through you go up through the alchemist until we go past the, firmament, uh, the the fisherman merchant rather and speak to plumber joe after plumber joe we're going to come on, uh, we're going to come back round to here where we've got taylor upstairs and if you come downstairs we've got seymour chilling in there upstairs from seymour and slightly further back here we will have this little mound patrick house style thing which has guy chilling in he'll upgrade your bank now we're going to come across the bridge to the wilderness straight across the river here and we will end up with the fisherman npc beautiful how are we doing man and back across the river uh, you can see it already we've got the wizard tower chilling up here climb this hill there are ladders inside but you can also just teleport up through this window and we will have the wizard npc down in through the trees, straight along here, uh, and we will end up with Tia chilling just over there. Speak to her to claim your fairy souls, and then we're going to want to come up through here to speak to Shifty the bartender. Down and around from Shifty, and we will end up at the Sirius NPC. He will only appear on the 55th real minute of every hour, or you can have a look in your calendar to see when the Dark Auction is. And then finally, if we come all the way back around, jump over this river, round the entire mountain until we see this red and quartz building. We will finally finish up with Madame Eleanor Goldsworth. There are also two other NPCs in the hub to note, uh, both of whom will appear in this little shack style thing behind the hub. If you have a look in your calendars and events menu, rather, you'll be able to see the spooky festival will give you the fear for an hour and the traveling zoo will give you a Ringo. Next up, we're going to hop to the gold mine. From here, quite simple, we've got the gold forger over here, the iron forger chilling there, rusty just up the steps, and the lazy miner just across. Following the mining trend, we are going to come into the deep caverns, speak to the lift operator, and go down to the obsidian sanctuary, uh, and then just across, Reese is the NPC who will allow you to get into the dwarven mines. 
Next up, we're going to come down to the Dwarven Mines. From here, we're going to want to run into the bank, where we will have a Banker Broadjaw. Across from here, we are going to have Old Man Gary, who runs all the events. Uh, and then up into this area, we're going to have the Tavern, which has Gimli, Sargon, Hornum, and Tarwin. I'm hoping I, I pronounced those all correctly. Also, if you do type burp here... Uh, wait, let me chat a... But uh, there we go. They're, they'll all make the burp noises uh, and you will get a, a drunken tavern. Well, a placeable one of those the first time you do it. Uh, anyways, next we're going to want to come round up to this thing where we have Lumina. Uh, we have Geo and we have uh, the block guide who I believe is actually called Fragilis. It just it doesn't show it there when you speak to him. Next, we've got Gwendolyn and one of the emissaries. Now we're going to come round to you straight ahead until we reach. We'll get there in a second, I swear. Uh, straight ahead until we reach this little slit in the wall here. Oh. Straight ahead until we reach this little tiny bit in the wall here. Come back through to the puzzler. Uh, and then if we run upstairs, then we will find ourselves... Bam, Dalbrek. Out from Dalbrek, and we've got three rooms chilling up the top here. Uh, the first of which is in this corner right here. There we go, with one of the royal residents across from you, and we've got the other royal resident. Uh, and then finally, we'll come out here, run through to the side, and come in this side door up the stairs, and we do have... Oh, the final royal resident who will require you to speak to him for eight hours and then he turns into a sheep. But he's in this room. Out from this room and we can go straight to the queen. Then we're going to start speaking to the emissary. So if we come back down here, uh, you can see I I've got waypoints for these ones. But jump off this bridge, run around the side until you reach emissary Wilson. From Wilson, we're going to come all the way through until we get to Siena. Beautiful. Round past Siena, and we will come up the top to Carlton. Uh, and then finally, up through this bit, up the Royal Mines, uh, the, the Upper Mines, rather, uh, and we will reach ourselves at Frazier. From Frasier, there's one left that we're going to need to get. So we'll come back down through you, up this staircase until you reach this little wooden platform. If you jump down from here, then you'll find yourself at Joel, Jot, J Jot, Jotralin. Uh, you, you'll find yourself at the forge, uh, and there are also forger NPCs here if you do need to get anything set up. Change of pace from the mining, we have come into the desert settlement where we're going to speak to first the friendly hiker, uh, then we'll come back around to Beth and Mason. Up past here, over this little wooden thing uh, and across the river, uh, and we will find ourselves in the oasis. And then if we keep going up this little hilly bit, we'll see a house. If we head into that house, we'll find Farmer John. Uh, and then up round the mountain from Farmer John, uh, and we'll get this little bit where all the wool's hanging uh, inside here. And we do find ourselves with both Trevor the Trapper and Tammy. Uh, and then finally, we'll come back round past Tammy until we reach this gorge. Jump in, jump in again, and here we will find the Hungry Hiker. Now into the Spider's Den. We've only got two NPCs to get here, but if we run straight ahead up this hill and end up in this massive house on top. Then through to the very, very top of here, we will have both Grandma Wolf and Shaggy. Finally, if we come back into the Dwarven Mines, through over to Gwendolyn uh, and hop ourselves into the Crystal Hollows, now is where things start to get a little bit difficult. Uh, first things first, if we walk to the Nucleus, there is a warp, or it's just always at 550, 550, if I press F3. Uh, you, you'll see the very centre there is 550, 550. Here we have Emissary Cisco, and then across from them we've got Jonathan Greatforge. And now we have some of the tricky ones. First we have Pete, 
who is one of the rarest NPCs who can appear. When I found him, he's been in the goblin area, but I believe he can spawn anywhere. Pete is an area with a group of people sat around a campfire. Uh, do make sure that you speak to NPC Pete. When you speak to them, they will all turn into bears. So speak to Pete as quickly as possible. There's also a little area in the goblin place where Zalk can spawn, uh, who is a goblin NPC who you can speak to. Over in the jungle, uh, we have Odawa. Now, I have had to hop onto a different profile for this one, and the reason being uh, is that Jerry right here will be chilling just on your private island. He is the first guest who you will end up speaking to. Uh, if you speak to him, you'll get this little move Jerry egg. If you place it down, bada bing, bada bang, you can place him wherever you'd like. Now, there is one more NPC that I haven't mentioned yet, uh, and that is Terry. He only appears during the season of Jerry, uh, but if you have a look at this map here, go up through the middle, across the icy lake, he will be chilling in that shack, uh, and you can speak to him there. Finally, the spaceman, Doctor himself, descended from the heavens to bestow upon the player the greatest gift Floating through an empty void, he eventually lands on your garden. The spaceman will not find your island until you have spoken to every other visitor. But once he does, you will have truly 